in a shocking turn of events here at Powertrain Products, we have run into yet another Hemi with cam wear problems. So here's the lobe with the biggest problem here. It is on its way to being flattened. And then we've got another lobe down here on this end that is also starting to show some signs of wear. And um, so this is what the lifters inside this Hemi engine look like. This is a hydraulic lifter. That means that it's got oil running through it at all times. And inside here is going to be some needle bearings and that's what's gonna keep your roller in place. This is going to roll when it comes in contact with your cam, hence the term roller cam. And it's pretty well known that the needle bearings in here are known to seize, they are known to fail, which is eventually going to cause this part of the roller to become dislodged. The way this is meant to work inside your engine is that as your cam turns, your lobe is going to push against your lifter, which is going to push against the push rod and then the rocker arms, and that is eventually going to cause your valve to open. So if you have an issue with your needle bearings and this is not in the correct positioning, or if your cam starts to become flattened, it is eventually just gonna result in the fact that your valves are not going to be able to open properly. So these are both cam in block engine designs, meaning the cam is in the block. This is a regular Chevy 350 and this is a Hemi. So as you can see on the Chevy 350, it's built at a 90 degree angle. So your lifters are gonna go here and your cam is here. By nature, any oil moving through your lifters is going to gravitate towards your cam and help lubricate it. Now, if you take a look at the Hemi engine, you can see that the angle at which the lifters are and where the cam goes does not provide any type of extra oiling simply because of the design of the engine block. I am certainly not saying that this is the end all be all into the answer to all of the Hemi problems. However, if you are not using an oil with a high enough viscosity, or if you are someone who does not keep up with your proper maintenance and you are experiencing lubrication issues, then the design is certainly not going to help you.